Radio, as you can see, it's Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Collection. And we are going to be playing Space Harrier. Once I turn off my lights, there we go. I've just finished Rugrats Tully Angelica, and now I'm on to Space Harrier, the arcade version. Oh, we're going normal. Yeah, time off. Yeah, I played a little. I played this through uneasy the other day just to get to grips with it, really, because I do have space. Yeah, this is one thing you have to get used to. There is some talking in this version. Wait, how do I get out of this area? Get ready. I do have this on the Mega Drive. Space Harry on the Mega Drive. I think the furthest I've ever... I don't know where the furthest I've ever got to in that game though is. I have a level 6 or 7, I don't know. Okay, I'm not hitting anything here. There we go. I like to just constantly mash. Mash the shoot button. Hope something goes boom ahead of you. It's a crazy game. But it's... Ah. See, I took my eye because I was like, I decided to flick over to my camera. Then I took my eye off what was going on on the screen, so god damn it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a crazy game, but it's a fun as hell game. If, you, if you've got a Mega Drive or can play Mega Drive games, I suggest you pick this up. Well, I suggest you pick Space Harrier up. Please pick Space Harrier up. It deserves to be in a Mega Drive collection. It's that good of a game. It is a very fun game. In the arcade version, there's some strange talking going on. But it is still a great game. And you can just imagine this in the American arcades taking up so many quarters. You never would have seen this in the English arcades, I can tell you that much. We might have done, but not in my local arcades. We went to Giza. I mean, we had the side-scrolling Pac-Man game, we had Street Fighter 2, we had Wonder Boys, we had Super Mario Bros. 3. May have had Super Mario Bros. 2, I'm not sure on that one, but we definitely had the third one. Yeah, kaboom. But we never had stuff like Space Harrier. But I can imagine in America it's pretty big. There's not really... Oh, look at these floating heads. They are freaky as all hell. And everything goes boom. And you don't want to hit these pillars either. That's a bad time. You hit the pillars, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that because it's going to make my thumb cramp up. Okay, next boss. Thank you. Ah. Floating heads. With something in the middle of them. Just shoot it. And there we go. We're into a mar. Suddenly there's mushrooms, fungi if you will, fungus. The backgrounds always change. So there's the thing in the bottom. Ah, see, oh, I wasn't concentrating yet again and look what happens. Ah. Okay, concentrate boy, concentrate. Shoot, shoot everything that moves. And shoot everything that doesn't move. By the way, it's going to explode and go boom. Look at this madness. It's a colourful madness of just chaos. Chaos and supremacy. We don't crash into them because they don't explode. We're getting faster, we're getting faster. Okay, I took out a few things. And we got another dragon. But this one is two heads. Look at that thing. Look at that for design. Fabulous. Essentially, you just got to keep hitting the heads. Hit the heads, one will go down just like that. And I got hit by a stray fireball. That's okay. Yeah, I don't know what exactly all that writing is for. I suppose that was just... 
to entice the arcade goers to insert more quarters, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, we've got these strange, well, rotating things. You can't destroy them, I don't think. Ah, god damn it. Yeah. You can see, that insert coins to play? Or just press the start button. Yeah, there's no inserting coins here, because I would be skint. You see, things are going pretty fast now. I'm going to take my eyes off the screen for just a second. So look at the camera and look what happens. I have to keep looking at the camera. Which I keep checking my battery life. Seeing how it looks on camera as well. Because I wasn't really sure if this would turn up too well. Anyway, we've got giant mutant frog things. And that's the end of them. Yeah. And now we've got the Booner stage. With this freaky looking thing. Go here, destroy as many things as you can. For points, you got to get points. Ah, come over there, to the right, to the right. There we go, destroy the trees. Ah, oh, missed. Yeah, that wasn't great. Only two whole trees. Yeah, some decent points though, I suppose. Some decent points. On stage five, on stage six. Alesis. I believe from the other play for the other day, there's 18. St oh, God damn it, why did I do that? There's 18 stages, and I shouldn't talk when I'm playing a game like this. It destroys my concentration. But yeah, there's 18 stages, and the last stages are practically up just a boss rush. Still pretty nice, though. Oh, come on. I don't care if it's late, I don't care if it's 10 to 2 in the morning and your eyes are a little tired. There's mutant frogs and other sort of ships and stuff shooting crap at you. Focus man, focus. You're meant to be awesomely good at games when you're more tired. Well, that's the theory anyway. I don't think you can be really good at games when you're tired. You go into a zone. Special state of mind. I can concur with that. Look at this for a boss. It's madness. I've beaten some pretty tricky games when I've been tired. And again, I've beaten some pretty tri tricky games when I've been awake. Like when I beat Fantasia. So, and then we've got one eye mammoths from the title screen. But when I beat Fantasia, I mean, I was awake for that, and that was last year. When I beat Zelda 2, The Adventure Link, I was nothing but alert and awake. I had to be. A lot of level grinding in Zelda 2, The Adventure Link, but I completed it with two lives remaining. Managed to get to the final temple with three lives still intact. I was pretty proud of that, quite honestly. So when Mario Bros. lost levels, I was pretty... Well, I was pretty awake for most of that. I don't know if I did much in the way of late night filming for Lost Levels. I may have done. I don't know. Oh, I should have stayed left. I knew I should have stayed left. I think I zoomed in a bit too much so you can't see the bottom left of the screen, but there's little guys indicating your lives. Oh. Come on, stay with... Okay.